it is a beautiful Friday afternoon and it's only the second day this week that I've felt slightly okay, which means I need to get out. So I decided to go to the park, but not just like a park park with swings and stuff. This is like the park with trails and it leads up to the lake. I got here pretty late. It's already seven and apparently sundown is around like eight-ish. So I want to be able to see the sunset from off of the lake, but I don't know if I'll get that far. So we'll see. Taking the easy route. So I just passed like three different people that were taking pictures. And that one lady was doing her wedding pictures. It was so pretty. So that's neat. You don't know what trail I'm following. Oh, there's a sign that says trail. That's helpful. Hopefully no one's in here, that'd be awkward. Let's go have a little moon. Wait, there's not even a hole. So, I don't see how this is an outhouse, but alrighty then. four deer right here. Four. One, two, there's one right behind, oh, right there, behind the tree. That's three, and then four right there. Oh, this is cool. I've never been this close to so many for such a long amount of time, too. Oh, staring at me. Why does it make that noise? Do you hear that? That's coming from a deer. Oh, I think I might be scaring them. I'm trying not to, but... Look how close it is to the trail. Look at that one. Is that it sneezing? That's bizarre. It is its this deer has been sneezing this whole time. That's that noise. That's so hilarious. I think it has a cold or something. Three right here. The other one ran off. How many times has this deer sneezed? A ton. That one's big. Ooh. I mean, is that like, oh, oh gosh, look at that. Look at this one now. So 
cool. There's four deer that were like, I spent a good, I was over five minutes watching them. And they stayed so close and just went like across to the other side of the trail and I followed them for a little bit. That was really, that was really cool. I've been to this park a couple times and seen deer here. I've never gotten that close to them for such a long amount of time without them freaking out and running off. So I don't know if it's because I was alone and I was trying to be quiet or anything. I'm sure that they're fairly used to humans because this park is open to people, but still, that was pretty neat. Also, seriously, that deer was sneezing up a storm. That weird noise, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the video. I was making this bizarre noise and I couldn't figure out what it was at first. And then I realized that this one deer was sneezing over and over again. <laughs> it was just sneezing and it kept like getting its, um, its leg and like going like that with its nose like dogs do and stuff. And so if deer can get colds, I think that one did have one because it sneezed a lot. There's the moon. Huh. It's already out. I think I'm kind of missing the sunset right now. Look at this cute little area. I mean, there's these weird cacti looking things. No, just because you're a Texan doesn't mean you know anything about cactus. There's the lake back there. Getting closer, I think. Not exactly sure because it's still really far away. So don't know how I'm getting there. Just following the trail. Hi, little guy. Can armadillos do anything to hurt you? Okay, so I'm getting awfully close. I don't think it likes that. Bye, dude. Enjoy life. Have a grand old day. Look at this. This inchworm thing is crawling across this map. I don't think I've seen any bees in real life either. It's like it knows I'm watching it and so it'll stop. Oh, it, goes. it looks so cute! It looks like it's someone without their body, so it's only someone's legs and they're walking sideways and they have big feet. That's what it looks like. Oh, he's going in the lake. You're dead. That's cool. It looks really pretty. Isn't this so pretty? Like, this is just a little lake in the middle of Eagle Mountain Saginaw. Okay, it's actually a big lake, but I mean, I just drove 10 minutes to go to a park. And this is what I see. God is kind of awesome. I think this might become my new favorite place. And I think I'm going to come out here more often. Because it's pretty cool. Obviously, a dog was here.
nicely with the waves and the sand. This kind of feels like I'm at the ocean, which is pretty awesome. But then there's this huge forest behind me.